children in today's session we are going to study about adaptations that is how plants survive so we will learn about terrestrial plants in this session children the plant kingdom is very vast as you can see many different types of plants around you so we can say that the plant kingdom is very vast there are many different kind of plants of different shape different sizes right so children we can say that plants can be found almost all over the earth we would see different plants growing in each place for example plants grow on seashore in desert in plain and plants also grow on the top of a high snow covered mountain so children we can say that plants can be found almost all over the earth so children now let's study about the types of plants children there is a variety of plants that grow on earth so wherever you go you can see the plants around you that means there is a vast variety of plants that grow on earth so children they can be divided into two main types so into how main types plants are divided two main types the first one is the plants that grow on land are known as terrestrial plants that means terrestrial means of the earth right so you can see in the picture and the second one the second main type is that plants that grow in water are known as aquatic plants that means aquatic means of the water so children plants are divided mainly into two types the plants that grow on land that are terrestrial plants and the plants that grow in water that are aquatic plants okay children so now let's study about terrestrial plants children we know that 70% of earth surface is covered with water and 30% is land as you can see here the blue color shows that there are much amount of water sorry there is much amount of water that is 70% and how much is the land it is 30% so the green color shows the land which is 30% so children on based on this we can say that this land has different features different features like mountains then forests plains deserts so children our land has different features like mountains forests plains and deserts children the world's tallest trees are the redwoods of california and some of them are even 100 meters tall so children as our land has different features some parts receive heavy rainfall some receive medium rainfall and some receive very little rainfall so you can see in the picture right some parts receive heavy rainfall 
some receive medium rainfall and some very little rainfall so children very cold areas also receive snowfall instead of rain as you can see in the picture yes this picture is showing snowfall because it is very cold so very cold areas receive snowfall instead of rainfall so children we can say that all these areas we find different kinds of plants because plants need to adapt to the natural conditions of the area in which they are able to survive so children what do you mean by adapt yes to adjust in a new living condition is called adapt so children always remember that plants need to adapt to the natural conditions of that particular area in which they live to be able to survive so plants adapt themselves to survive so now let's see one interesting example yes children you will not find an apple tree in a desert because a desert receives very little rainfall right so children always remember that different areas have different plants and all the plants need to adapt themselves to be able to survive so children as we saw one example an apple tree cannot grow in desert because it receives very little rainfall and an apple tree needs heavy rainfall to grow apples so children do you know that the world's tallest trees are the redwoods of california we discussed it just now yes they are the redwoods of california and they are even 100 meters tall so children let us now study the features of plants that are found on land so the first one is plants on mountains children trees growing on mountains and hilly areas are usually tall straight and have a cone shape why they are having the cone shape yes because snow can easily slide off their branches we will see some picture and some examples and you will come to know that why the trees growing on mountains and hilly areas are tall straight and cone shaped because snow can easily slide off their branches and children the plants on the mountains are usually flowerless and have cones with inside with seeds inside them so you can see here you can see the picture they are flowerless and they have cones but they have seeds inside them so children the plants on the mountains have leaves and the leaves of these trees are needle like why they are needle like yes they are needle like because they can protect or prevent any damage from snow so the leaves of these trees are needle like and have a waxy coating on themselves to prevent any damage from the snow so you can see here right so this is a picture of such a tree which is present on the mountain for example the plants on the mountains are oak tree 
then pine trees then fir trees then the other tree then redwood tree so children these are all examples of the plants that grow on mountains right so children besides these trees which we saw right now there are other small flowerless plants like ferns and lichens which also grow here that is they also grow on mountains so these are ferns and this is the picture of lichens so children ferns and lichens are very small flowerless plants that also grow on the mountains so children i hope that you enjoyed this session learning about types of plants and just one feature of plant that is found on land that is plants on mountains so we will continue this session this lesson in the next session right till then keep learning keep enjoying thank you children